hello it's uh, with me again so here i would like to show you uh, what i've done with the um, uh, yeah how to make this digital twin app um, that predicts the performance of a natural gas dehydration unit so um it's uh, just to introduce you to a bit on what this dehydration unit is is more or less like this so we have a feed gas and then it's uh, it contains water and this water needs to be absorbed by a glycol so the the dry gas is then then going up here and then we measure the water dew point in the in the gas before it goes to the pipeline and then the rich glycol is then um, containing the water is then being regenerated in this column and then we have um, um yeah, and then the, and then it's becoming uh, the the that lean glycol is then um, uh, stripped by the by a solvent by a solvent um, and then it be, it's sending back to uh, to the to the glycol contactor so we have um, in this case we have the the feed gas which we um, yeah we use as an input and then we have um, some um, operational variable that we apply in the plant for example the the, the recycle the water uh, reflux fluoride and then um, the the fluoride of the uh, of the solvent that strip out the remaining water from the lin uh, glycol and then we have also the reboiler temperature corresponds to the reboiler duty and then we also have um, the the lean glycol flow rate uh, to absorb the the water so we have um, uh, again the reboiler temperature um, uh, water reflux um, solvent flow rate and then lean glycol flow rate so uh, based on this um, uh, operational data uh, we make the model and then we generate data and then from that data we develop the machine learning model uh, based on neural network and then i save it as uh, ONGS file so from these models what I've done further is that I um, I followed this example on um, from this data professor and this data professor I put it in the comments below on the link uh, how to build uh, the app in Python using Streamlit so this is what I did so what I did is that uh, we have this um, like I said we predict the water dew point we have the reboiler duty and then we have there is this TG losses here in this case there's this TG losses somewhere here and then we also the high pressure uh, vessel low pressure vessels and we have this off gas in the off gas and then we can calculate the co2 equivalent emission from that uh, which we also make a model so um so these are then the co2 emission equivalent uh, from the high pressure and low pressure so these are the inputs variable like the reboil temperature reflux uh, of the water uh, feed gas flow rate and then solvent flow rate and then lean uh, glyco flow rate so we can see when i um uh, so the the numbers are changing uh, uh, accordingly uh, so um, um so this is more like a, so it's 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 an app uh, that we can use and then um, and and then uh, like uh, uh, normal people who don't have access to to um, uh, process simulations uh, or process, uh, the license for that process simulation software so they can use this uh, and then the plan they can play around with this to see how uh, what they can do to to minimize the reboiler duty for example um, how I did that. Um, um, uh, yeah, uh, it's it's uh, if you follow if you follow the um this data professor link, uh, it's it's a very much clearer. Yeah, this one I just uh, would like to show you very quickly. So we import um uh, all important uh, stuff um and then the, I put the the naming over here. So just to show you, um so this this naming over there, see this naming, uh, natural gas dehydration unit and then digital twin app and then we have this um, input features which is a, a slider slider. So we have all of these uh, with the minimum and then maximum and then the default value. So all of these are, are here. And then from there, I um, I call I call um, I call the, the the neural network model for the um, water dew point, for example. And then the, um, I transform the x because uh, we need to have a, we need to standardize the 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 the, the values. I transform the x and then calculate the y predicts predicts um predict the y uh, predict uh predict the y and then the um and then the uh transform the y value so i call another job lib um, file and then the, um, and then the um and then they report it so we have all of this um uh, reboil duty water dew point model reboil duty model tg loss model co2 emission and co2 emissions and then we have all of this um uh, uh, printed as in the as in the as the output of this um, uh, app so to say yeah so um, I think that is all for now uh, for more detail on how 
to make this um, uh, web apps, uh, I suggest you to go to this um, uh, YouTube channel. And then the, um, for how to make the neural network and then save it in on, there will be another video, but I think you can also find it somewhere in the YouTube. So this is then me sharing how we can use this um, into like a digital twin of chemical plants without using uh, process simulator. So thank you. Bye-bye.